Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to get started a couple of minutes over time here. We'll just add people as, as, as they're coming in. Uh, so today, you know, my name is Ryan Hudson, uh, Director of the Peer Pro, and also Jason Robinson, our Ambassador for the Peer Pro. We're going to discuss today the September update and the importance of uh, PE. I hope everyone's well after the weekend and obviously school's back in now, so we understand how busy you are as teachers. Uh, so we should be done here about 30 minutes here. Just letting you know, yeah, if you can make sure everything's muted, uh, just for noise interference and also we'll be recording this because we know there's some schools and teachers that can't jump on uh, we're going to send them the recorded uh, webinar after so so the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, the what, the why and the how the theory behind the PE Pro uh, Jason's going to talk about the importance of PE then we're going to take you back into the app the new update with all the advancements in there. And also then we're going to talk about what you can expect uh, from this year ahead with the PE Pro app. So we'll talk about the why, what, and the how. So the why is we want to ensure every child receives outstanding PE. We want to ensure that every child's on the physical literacy journey and we're creating that lasting for love of, of PE and sport. The what is we want to upskill every teacher to do this. We understand the things that are going on in schools, the, the, the barriers for teachers, we want to give the teachers the motivation, the confidence and competence to do this. We're going to talk about giving them the broad curriculum. We understand everyone's got strengths and weaknesses. Uh, so having a variety of activities is, is key for PE. Uh, the how we talk about the, the PE pro. So we realise that we want a, mil a million children inspire these. So we talked about the Starbucks experience in our last webinar, uh, which is creating that lasting love of PE and sport and if you go back to uh, the 70s with Howard Schultz, when he talked to the Starbucks CEO, and he was seeing people be meeting before work and after, and it wasn't just about the coffee. It was about their experience of being together. And we taught that from, from the teachers and, and teaching the PE pro in your lessons. We want to create that ultimate experience where they're absolutely loving and learning with smiles on their faces. So that's the bit of the why, the what, and the how. I'm going to hand over to Jason now as we discuss a bit more about the importance of PE. Uh, thanks, Ryan, and uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And, yeah, Ryan, everybody, I'm going to be talking about the importance of PE, and, and this is really from a, a personal experience um, because I, I truly believe that PE has the, uh, the power to drive and ch transform lives, really, because I know what it's done to me over the years. Um, PE didn't just help me physically as a, as, as a young child. It also helped me. Uh, mentally and emotionally as well and you know when I when I look back over the years at my career I've done some amazing things I, I look at over 12, 25 major trophies um, between two different codes rugby league and rugby union I represented uh, um, the British Lions on three occasions I've been in three World Cup finals thankfully winning one of them in 2003 um, I've been lucky enough to captain my club. I've captained uh, England um, over 500 career games, scoring over 250 tries. So I've done some amazing things over the years. And quite often people say that and don't often uh, look at how you've got there. They see what you've done on TV and the achievements. But, but for me, it was all about, it all came from PE and, and a, an enthusiastic school teacher, Mr Aspinall who played a huge part in my life. Because when I, when I rewind, you know, go back before I started playing sport, I, I actually struggled at school because um, I, came, I came from a deprived area. So I grew up without my father. Um, I actually met him when I was 36. So I never had my natural father there um, growing up. Mum um, was a cleaner. Um, she was white, two older white brothers. So from a very early age, I... I, I didn't always know where I fit into things and struggled quite a bit at home. We lived in probably four or five of the um, most deprived areas um, in Leeds. So we struggled, didn't have any money, always, you know, always struggled to, to get to events, et cetera, um, sports things, because we, we just didn't have the, the means to do it. Um, but I always remember sort of in school um, and, and I always remember just sat in class and, and I sort of struggled and I didn't struggle because I was, uh, I was a bad lad, but I, I struggled because there were lots of things going on in my life away from school. And I always remember school teachers quite often thinking, 
you know, I wasn't engaged um, at all and, and, and often didn't really look as like I was concentrating on whatever lesson that would be, whether it be maths, whether it be English. And, and, and what they didn't realise um, was that, you know, outside of school, I had a lot of stuff going on. And I think sometimes maybe as teachers, um, you know, with the workload and everything you've got on, sometimes, um, you know, that, that, that can be missing with a few people. And, and for me, it was a case of, you know, I was trying to process, whilst I was sat in those lessons, I was trying to process some of the things that I'd seen going on, whether that would be my mum being the victim of domestic violence, the house being smashed up, um, and quite often our, our house at the weekend was a battlefield. So when I came into school, quite often I was just trying to process all the things that I'd seen. So, yeah, I didn't feel like I was engaged and I struggled. And, and then I ended up being in, in the bottom sets and, and probably was, was almost a victim of just falling, falling you know, through the system um, because I, I wasn't very academic. But then came along... Um, PE and a, an enthusiastic PE teacher and I always remember that Mr Aspinall he just he loved rugby at the time and uh, I, I I didn't know anything about rugby nobody in my family had ever played sport so I didn't really have an example of 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 that side growing up um, but all of a sudden there was there was this man and for me it was a I, I didn't have great experiences of of, of men growing up um, but I had somebody there that was 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 positive was a positive role model um and also was encouraging me because even even that sometimes for for some households is is not something that you would get um so there i had this this male role model and you know again he just wanted to start up a rugby team and, and me and my mates just ended up thinking right let's let's give it a try and at the time you know it was just a bit of fun for for me and my mates but what i didn't realize at the time was just what it was teaching me um, and it was teaching me about teamwork, resilience, um, you know, respect, discipline. And, you know, that can make a massive difference to uh, to young people's lives, especially when you come from a deprived area like myself. So, you know, I always remember, I always remember Mr. Aspinall, even just, again, those words of encouragement, just, just somebody saying, well done. And for me, that was like oxygen um, to the soul because... You know, quite often when you're when you're going through school and you know most of the time I felt a bit of a failure if I'm honest um, but all of a sudden I started to find this new confidence and, and I started to have more self-esteem and, and more about myself as a as a, as a young child um, and I think that started to build within me I then joined a, an amateur club um, and started to get into sport a little bit bit more serious but you know, one of the key things here for me was that experience I had my, with my teacher. And quite often teachers, you know, <laughs> it can be a very, very tough job. And, and, and quite often, you know, there, there will be kids like me that seem disengaged and, and, and not paying attention. But I guarantee you they're probably paying a lot more attention than, uh, than, than they seem. And, and it's amazing, again, what, what it can do to people. And I you know, I took that and I took the the, the encouragement. And um, for me, it was it was how I processed some of the energies that I had. And quite often, because I had all these feelings going on, you know, the the, the, the anger, you know, sometimes hate. And um, for me, I just found that sport and, and and PE was a way just to channel it in a in a really positive way. Because I know, you know, just coming through. At that age, I know a lot of my other friends went on to do, you know, some awful things and end up, you know, in prison and everything else. But I, it just seemed that sport got me at a really key time in my life and uh, and and really took me on a journey. And as I said, you know, I've, I've done some amazing things over the years in, in my career, but um, I always pull it back to those experiences that I had at school, um, you know, with my mates. And with with some T joy, what they do, and it's amazing how much you learn when somebody is so passionate about, you know, P and sport, and 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 again, that's what I feel, um, you know, got me at a very young age and took me on a journey that 
I think only P in sport could have done. And and I look back now and I've had a, a an amazing career. And even even post my career, you know, I left school unfortunately without any GCSEs and and I look back and wish I'd done a lot better. But even that hasn't sort of um, held me back because even though I don't have a GCSE, I now have an MBE and an OBE. Um, and I work for some of the biggest companies in sport. And I think, you know, what I learned through P in sport and that leadership, that resilience, um, working with teams, I'm now able to use, you know, in, in, in a different way. And, and, you know, I often get asked by companies, HSBC, Land Rover, to go in and do talks around teams and leadership and resilience and, and just share my story because, I think sometimes not everybody will come through the conventional way. And for me, it certainly wasn't conventional, but I, it certainly gave me, uh, you know, some, something great to hold on to and use, you know, in, in later life. So I'm, I'm very um, thankful for what um, my teacher did and, and, and for those PE lessons, for that encouragement and inspiration. Um, and now, you know, post rugby, um, I, because of what it's done for me, I'm, I go into schools um, and it's been a part of my life now for, for quite some time, going into schools, share my story, trying to inspire the kids that may seem to be a bit engaged, um, using it not just as a tool to help children, um, you know, with their physical wellness, but also mentally and emotionally. I feel it can make such a big difference. And I know, again, it's it's helped me in my career and uh, I'm really keen now to to keep passing it on to to the young people and also to inspire to to, to encourage teachers um to keep doing what you're doing because you, again you don't always get the uh, the pats on the back and the uh, the credit you do but as as one experience um that I've had I I can guarantee you that you are making a difference and and for me just sharing with you today um just to say just just keep doing what you're doing um, you know, we will we will make a difference. And when we look at the last 18 months and how COVID has made a massive impact on us all, um, we know just how much it's had a, an impact on, on, on children and young people. And, and we can get through this. And I do believe that PE and sport is a great way to do it, a great way to engage with children, to get them back to where they were before. And, uh, and now I'm, I'm, I'm committed to help doing that. And you know, one of my roles now with, with, with PE Pro is doing that, is to encourage kids to get them active, um, to get them trying stuff, because uh, sometimes you never know, you know, what you like until you've tried it. And that's why, you know, having a broad curriculum and, and trying new things is, is, is so key, just to try and get everybody engaged. You know, I love, I love rugby, but, uh, you know, it's important that we give them the opportunities to do it and, and to fulfil their p potential. And, and for me, it's not about, you know, kids being the next World Cup winner, rugby player, you know, it's about them fulfilling their potential and, and being mentally, physically, emotional, healthy. So, uh, so thank you very much for, for listening um, to me and helping me, uh, allowing me to share my story and the importance of, of PE and, and what it's done for my life. And I just say, I guarantee you that there's lots of children that you will uh, come across that will, you know, will be thinking and have the same similar experience as I did when I was a younger child. So, uh, so thanks once again, and uh, I'll now hand you back over to, uh, to Ryan. Thank you, uh, Jason. Uh, and the same again in the chat box, if you want to put some questions in there for at the end, uh, we can have some questions with Jason at the end as well. So uh, we're going to go to the next, next part of this slide before I go into the app, and we'll talk about the PE Pro and uh, the difference between any other scheme of work. And, and the biggest, the unique selling point from our point of view is the fact that we've got our professional background Okay, sporting background, but also with the professors on it and the doctors and head teachers as well, it's been put, put this resource together. Uh, so that is the USP. And obviously we know that the things in the schools that we've been working with uh, and our systems, which I'll talk about, making sure that every lesson is fun and engaging. Just like what Jason says there, you know, it's about the teachers being able to bring this alive and really have some passion for what they're delivering. So the update, as you can see, we've been uh, working on this for the last eight to nine months, our, our team uh, in the background. So we can see now through the curriculum design, which is going to be at Choose Your Own, 
there's a thousand new activity videos. So the, the big same again, the USP of the app is we understand that you know school teachers that busy, it's quick and it's simple. So for the schools that have got it or schools that haven't, we've made it simple. So it's click, there's a video and the lesson plans, which I'll come on in a moment. The fact that we've got 20 new sports and activities on there, uh, Kabaddi, go ball, we've got a real diverse curriculum on there, and also some of the uh, assessments as well. Uh, so I'm going to come on to the app now. Just allow me to come out of this. Just back on me. Keep pressing escape. Uh, let's come back on to this. Share screen again. Just bear with me. Oh, it's back again. <laughs> it's gone missing. There it is. Okay, can you see that? Give it a thumbs up. You see it? Okay, so we're going to come into the app. So uh, things have been developing, and obviously we've got a partnership now with Sports Directory, the biggest UK uh, provider of uh, PE equipment in schools, and they've got everything. So now you can literally jump on as a PE lead teacher. We understand how busy you are. You click on the equipment, uh, and the tab will go straight through to their site, as you can see. They've got thousands and thousands of equipment there. So all our lessons that are on there, you'll be able to get the things on there as well. So we're going to come into the curriculum, as you can see now. So from EYFS uh, to year six, uh, you've got a chance to choose your own curriculum. So, for example, if I'm looking at EYFS, and this didn't have this in, in when we first launched it, there's a six themes on here. Uh, and you can click edit and you can choose what you want. Now, for example, if I'm going to come into the dance one here, choose your lesson. For example, I've clicked lesson two here. The difference between us and any other scheme of work is athletic development. It ties into the obesity strategy, okay, and it underpins the athletic development. So, for example, you would click on the Get Active, the athletic development, and these skills and these videos. So, for example, if I click on athletic development, as you see, you'll, whether it's an iPad or laptop, click on this. And just bear with us if any lagging, but we'll just show you a bit of an insight. Down and explain which beams link to which movements. Call out the beams in a random order. Runner beams. Jumping beams. String beams. Beans. Beans. So as you can see there, that's just giving me a bit of an insight. So the EYFS curriculum's on there. Also, as you come down here, so year one, two, you can click on, for example, here, uh, the curriculum's already mapped. So the 1A and the 1B, they are the two hours of PE. So let's say you've got uh, two, two, two lessons this, after, this week. You've got Autumn 1A, Autumn 1B, for example, here, fundamental movement skills. Uh, and you click on your lesson. Let's say once again, I'm choosing lesson two, for example. Don't forget at the bottom of each one is your lesson plan. So these have been designed as well. So we've got learning objectives, differentiation, cross curricular opportunities. Everything you need is in here. You can print them out and off you go. But just like these as well, you click on the relevant video, okay, and the video will come up there. If I show you again, for example, here, I'm not going to go through them all now, but there's, there's a thousand videos on here. So if you're a school working with us, you'll be able to see it. If not, get in touch, we can send you a free trial. In this activity, children will be working on their jumping and hopping skills. They will jump out to the marked out area where they will find cones scattered around. Under certain cones will be a bean bag. Children have one attempt to find a bean bag. If they find a bean bag, they jump back with the cone and bean bag. If they don't find a bean bag, they jump back with the cone. The cones are worth one point. The bean bags are worth five points. Differentiations for this activity include allowing the children to hop out instead of jumping. Allow the children to spread the cones out, hide the bean bags, but change the scoring. So each bean bag is mine. Okay, just bear with us if it's lagging, it's just probably, probably the Wi Fi, uh, but it should give you an insight to, to where we are. Uh, once again, the curriculum here, so as it's coming down the key stage, we know it should be more in invasion games and more specific uh, from the little ones from fundamental movement skills. Uh, and as you can see now, look, there's more cricket in here, there's more, more activities. And when I come through to lessons, you'll be able to choose what you want to. Uh, but for example, the gymnastics got a full new curriculum on here as well. So let's say I'm going to choose lesson three. Once again, this is about traveling with equipment, the lesson plans at the bottom. But if you click on this, this is giving insight, same, very simple. Whether you've got a teacher or a TA doing it, you can visually see what you're going to be delivering. Animal game with equipment. Children will continue to play the animal game, but now each group can choose one piece of equipment. This may be a table, a bench, a ladder, or whatever else the school offers. The 
children will continue to play the animal game and animals from the previous activity can be repeated as the children now have a piece of equipment to incorporate and travel across. If the ability of the class allows this, the teacher could give specific instructions to increase the difficulty of travelling. These instructions could include travel with three points of contact, travel with four points of contact, travel backwards, travel with one foot off the floor, travel using a method learned previously in the lesson, and travel without using your hands. After each round, the children can swap stations so they all have a turn travelling over the different equipment. So I'm going to come out of that now so you can see there. Now, if, if you're looking to think, what else is on here? The best tab to click is the bottom one here or the middle, the, the lessons. So whether you're looking at key stage one and thinking, well, assessments is up here, I'm going to come on to that in a moment. Athletics, key stage one, all, all, the, all the dance has been themed from key stage one right way through key stage two. We've even got things on here, so health and well-being. So some of the schools that's working as well, if you've got a wet play and you say, right, I'm inside, I can't get in the hall, what have I got here? Oh, there you go, there's a PowerPoint on nutrition, or some sugar there. Uh, there's some more things on here, nutrition, mindfulness, hydration. Same again, just click on this and away you go. So we've got some PowerPoints on there. Once again, if you're coming down the key stages, so especially as you're coming towards the higher end, we've even got on here now, as you can see here, uh, we've got more hockey on here, invasion games, we've got world sports where we've got kabaddi, Danish long ball. We've even got yoga floor and outdoor activities. And these have been filmed as well, so you can see exactly what you're going to be delivering in that lesson. So it speeds up learning. And same again, we, un we understand the pressure of teaching. Time's a big issue, and that's the barrier in which you why I made it quick and simple. You can choose your activity, click on the lesson plan, invasion again, lesson one, click on the video, it's there, literally within 30 seconds. So there are the lessons. So we're going to come to assessments now. So we want to show that, the five key indicators of the sports premium, everything's covered in here. So the first thing, obviously, the classes. So you'll click on class. And as you can see, I've created my class here, unicorns. OK, that's, for example, here. Assessments, you have to click create the assessment. So you'll click add and you'll click your class. So that's whether it's unicorns there. And we're looking now, from, we're looking at the physical literacy model. So confidence, competence, motivation, knowledge and understanding. So the physical, there's going to be two parts to the assessments. The physical one which will be assessed against the videos once again. So we're looking at the year from, from week one at the start of the year, the middle and the end. We believe that from an athletic point of view, we want children to leave at year six. They've got all them physical literacy and opinion of motivation, confidence, competence, and knowledge and understanding. So assessment here, once again, very simple. You can see the names at the side and you're going to click yes, maybe no against the progression documents and also the video. The video is in lessons. So when you click on lessons and choose your key stage assessment, that is where the video comes up there. So I'm not going to show you that because that will be obviously you've got full access to that. We've got the trial or you have the full account. The lesson plan is at the bottom, what we are assessing against. It's seven in, uh, I think it's lower key stage, there's eight in the upper, and there's four in low, uh, key stage one. And that is what we're assessing against. So look at the physical literacy model. So the physical is there. And now we're going to look at the theory. So we also, you might see a little child that's working really hard, really good skills, but actually when we come to the assessments, okay, are they confident? Yes, maybe not. As, as we're progressing through the year, we know there might be, in, let's say, netball, when it comes to dance and gym, they might be struggling. So you, you, you just click on yes, maybe no. Are they motivated in PE? Yes, you will know your class more than anyone. Unless it's a new class, you're going to have to get to know them. And do they enjoy PE? Have they, these last two here, have they got knowledge and understanding of PE? That's again the progression document, which I'll show you right now. And the last one is, do they understand the importance of health and well-being? So we're looking at the child from a holistic development point of view. The progression documents are in documents here. So everything you need, if Ofsted come in and do the deep dive, everything's on there, year one to year six. Everything's accessible. You can print these out, health and well-being documents as well. So it's all been on there. Everything on one app, no paperwork, unless you want to print them out. So I'm going to come back to assessments. The results are here as well. So whether you're a PE lead or a head teacher, the result charts are here. So when all the data has come in there, uh, whether you've got 10 teachers, 25 teachers, you can have as many on here, it does the graphs for you. So looking at children below target, achieving okay, and, and exceeding. On here as well, you can click on this tab. Uh, if you want to compare between boys, girls, SEND, pupil premium, you can really compare there and see and see the difference. 
These can be downloaded and uploaded to Sim, depending on what software your school is using. So that's on the physical and exactly the same for the theory. We've got the assessment on the theory. Once again, it creates the graphs around uh, what your children's scores have been. So everything is on there. All your evidence is on there. The one last thing we want to show is the P-Pro is, is upskilling your staff because we know that the mission is to a million children inspire these. So the way we do that is, is, is through the staff and the teachers and whoever's using it, we want to ensure this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to question these. So when you're on the app, if it's your class, we want to see, do you feel confident living physical education? There's six simple questions. Yes, maybe no. Do you feel comfortable planning? Do you feel you've got relevant knowledge? Do you feel you can progress and regress skills? And has it improved your knowledge, the PE Pro? You'll do that week one, middle of the year, 18 ideally, and then at the end. And then once again, same again, if you're a PE lead or a head teacher, you might have 10, 20 teach on here. You'll be able to look at this and analyze and say, well, actually, we need to work on knowledge. We need to work on our progressions. So it gives you some indication of where your staff is. And also the feedback we've had in the last nine, uh, nine or 10 months since we launched in October, November last year, uh, we've had some really, really positive feedback. And we want to we want to work with you. Every school we're working with, we want to get better. How can we improve it each year? And that's why we're bringing out new updates every year. We want to be at the forefront and keep challenging and making new ideas and activities. So that's on the assessments. I'm going to come on to the documents, okay? And then I'm going to come into some questions and we're going to wrap it up. But everything on here, so you talk about teacher CPD, this is 24-7 access. We know we're working with a lot of skits and unis where we're upskilling new teacher trainees. All the documents are on here. That's the, that's the national curriculum. The male youth development model, which has been working with Professor Kevin Till that underpins all our lessons. And the chronological edge across the top, everything in bold should underpin our lessons from FMS all the way through to strength. And as we're coming up the key stages, SSF is more sport specific. So there's the why behind a lot of underpinning knowledge and how it's different to any other scheme of work. Progression documents are here for you to have a look at. Okay, the progression documents, the videos are in assessment so you can clearly see what you are assessing against. Certificates, once again, some schools like to use these. And if you want award at the end of a lesson, good behavior, good skill, good attitude, good teamwork, whatever it is, you can print them out and you can hand them out every, every lesson. The pedagogy, the lesson structure. So with the difference between us and any other scheme of work is how our, how our lessons are, the warm up, the athletic development, the two skills into the game, it's active, it's continuous. And some schools do say to us, you know, if we've only got 30 minutes, well, how can I get it all in? So we want it to be fun. So the games are really important. It might be a quick warm up into a skill, into a game. That's if you've got 30 minutes, but generally getting the flow on there. So if you can make sure, just read the bottom as well about the review and the questioning there, learning, because it's really important as well. It's not just having fun, but we want to make sure there's learnings in there as well, the knowledge and understanding. So as we come on to the importance of PE as well, because we're working with AFPI and Jason's on the task force as well, everything's on there. So lots of key indicators, which you can see on here. AFPI talk a lot about the head, hearts and hands. And we're talking about the thinking the hands which are the doing and the heart, the behavioral change. And this from key stage one to key stage two. So all the documents are on here for, for all teachers. So I'm going to come back out now uh, and I'm going to come back to where I can get to, just bear with me. And we're going to come to some questions in a moment, just bear with me. Uh, you should be on here again. Where are you? Let me get to this. I'm going to come out of this. Back to the Google Drive. Sorry on this. Can you see this? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Technology issue. I'd like to ask. Is, can I ask? Is there any? Is there any questions? Anyone like? I like to ask any questions. As I try and get this screen back up. Any questions? Just bear with me. I'm going to try and get this back up. Got a question here for Jason. Was it rugby you always uh, did at school, Jason? Um, no, I mean, I as a, as a as a child, um, once I got into sport, it, it tended to be a, anything, whatever was going on. Um, you know, if people were playing park um, cricket in the park, I'd go and play cricket or. If Wimbledon was on, I ended up going playing tennis. And I think 
I think that's uh, that's one of the key things um, is is to have that uh, broad range of, of of sports and activities as well. Um, I used to do athletics, um, basically every every sport going, but it was <clears throat> I, I started to get engaged more with sport through PE, um, but from then it was a case of right. You know, I'm going to just try all these different sports, and and, and as it happened, it just was great because I learned more about different skills, hand-eye coordination, um, and I think I became a a lot better in everything I was doing because I was just doing lots of different sports. Okay, another question here. Someone just put in, "What can you do to help a teacher with long confidence, especially with training PE?" So, obviously, if you've got the PE pro, the biggest the impact is, is the video so you can see it and what we say is look get involved don't worry about making mistakes you know the videos are there have a go the children won't know get involved get your trainers on and just have a go and the more you do like anything repetition is, is key so just keep practicing and having a go uh, me personally i would struggle with the dance dance lessons i know jason might be better than me a bit of a dancer but uh, you've got to have a go at these things children will love it and they'll lead the way as well uh, another question here for jason uh, What's your role in the task force with AFP, Jason? Um, so I, I was uh, I was asked by um, Sir Wilkinson to join the task force um, a while ago, and if, if I'm honest, I didn't I didn't know an awful lot about what I was going to do, and then um, I was brought in probably more so because of my own personal experiences within you know within sport, and but but also my journey into you know, um, professional sport through um, my PE teacher. I'll always put it back to the experience I had at school and the PE teacher and, and, and how that made a massive um, impact on my life. Um, but the task force itself, you know, as I say, I had Sue in there, um, Edward Timpson MP, um, and it was just bringing a lot of um, minds together. Um, we had Professor Joe Harris on there and Baroness um, Amanda Sater as well. So there's a lot of different minds on there. It, it really is just to, to lobby government around PE and, 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 and in an ideal world, you know, PE does need to be a core subject. Um, you know, I've been saying this for, for a long, long time. You know, it's, it's, it's the only subject that really looks at the health and well-being of, of young people. We see the the results of, of COVID on, on everything, you know, participation's down, you know, things being cancelled. And, uh, you know, P is the only place that young people will get the opportunity to do, to, to, to be more active. Um, so, you know, it's, it's also about, you know, the task forces, how, how can we make it sustainable if, you know, what's going to happen if the uh, school sports premium goes? Because, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, um, there's, the, there's a lot of people that aren't using it to the best, um, the best possible way, and 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 if if that goes, then we we do need to make sure that you know we're we're ready as as as, as teachers of schools to be able to deliver deliver you know quality PE um, if if those uh, if that money is not there. So um, so yeah, so it's core subject sustainability. Um, again, making it a broad curriculum. I said just how much. Um, how many different sports I played growing up. And, and that's the same for young people um, today, children and young people, is that we need to give them experiences. We need to, um, you know, expose them to different sports, um, you know, because a lot of people wouldn't, you know, a lot of people, for example, you know, would have never done rugby or, or, tr or tried cricket. So it's really important that we, you know, we try and engage with everybody, um, you know, quite often, I'm sure we've all had experiences where, you know, we've had a teacher that loves football or loves rugby and that's all you do <laughs> uh, or, or loves running or cross field and, and uh, cross country running. And, and for some, it's, it's, it's put them off a bit because, you know, it's not been their thing. So it's really important that we give children, young people, you know, a, a broad curriculum and, and see what they like. And, and, and I'm sure, but, you know, by doing it, they'll, they'll come to love being in sport even more. And, and one of the other things as well was, you know, is making sure that teachers are, are equipped, you know, to, to deliver uh, quality PE. And uh, so the task force for me has been great. It's been an eye opener, um, you know, and it's been great for me to, to share my experiences again, 
in a different way, a more personal way, because I was one of those kids that it really has uh, made a difference in their lives. Brilliant. Okay, another question coming through saying, uh, some of the staff accessing videos, uh, please give me your help. So yeah, since we launched it in, a, in the first week in September, because it's an app and there's a thousand videos, we Apple have to verify all the videos and the lesson plans. So we're still waiting for a few more to be verified. Uh, any issue, just uh, drop me an email. And if you can't access them, we'll, we'll send you the lesson plans. But Apple have emailed us and just said within three to 10 days, everything should be sorted. So I think there's about 3% of the things we're waiting for. Uh, so that's that one, Anita. Uh, any more questions before we wrap it up? I think there's one more for Jason here. Sorry, Jace. Uh, you've had a successful rugby career. What are you doing now within sport? <laughs> are you still playing in the charity games? Um, no, I don't, uh, way too old now, 47. I think uh, charity, game, charity games have stopped for me. Um, but but what, what I, my, my passion is getting young people, uh, children and young people moving. And um, I, I now have a, quite a few roles. We've just spoken about the appy. Obviously, we've talked about P Pro. Um, the stuff that I do going into schools and trying to inspire kids. Um, I also have a new role um, at Sales Sharks, um, where I'm a non-exec director. Um, and uh, my role sees me doing a lot um, within the community and lots of different community programs, um, you know, whether that's disability sports. Um, um, we, we, we do a, a wide range of um, different things within the community but it's just to get people engaged and be healthy and happy and again whilst I whilst I love rugby I, I just I love other sports and and it's so important that we uh, you know we we just by by whatever means we just engage with people first and then find out what what they like um, so uh, so yeah so I'm not I'm I'm certainly not playing anymore but I but I just love putting a tracksuit on and getting into schools and, and just trying to inspire the next generation because we know that it does make a difference. Um, not, not, not just to them, but also the communities that they live in. And, and again, sport has the, the, you know, the power to, to drive change. Um, but just, just one other thing, I, I, this is not a question, but just on PE power, um, Ryan, I think one of the, the key things for this, because there's obviously there's other resources out there, but one of the things we, we want to do is 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 just keep getting better you know we're we're here as, as ex-sportsmen and we've we've tapped into lots of different uh, brains and professors doctors um you know fp all different and and that's because we know that you know we 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 have a skill set but we need all these different minds because we want this to get better and better and i think you know um going forward you know where we're, we're, we're open to to recommendations for you know whether there's some future changes or if there's stuff on there that people feel you know we could um we could do certain things um a bit better or if, if obviously if there's lots of things on there that you love then please tell us um but you know i think the key thing is you know with any resources and and, and especially where we come from it uh, from our our professional um careers ryan is that we want this to be the best it can be and it will only the, the more minds we get into this and the more experience we use to, to to refine and get better the better it is for us you know we, we we're not claiming to be the best there's ever been but, you know we know it's a, a great resource um and there's lots of people enjoying it at the moment but but we do want to get better and that will come every time you know we're doing this uh this update um and 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 it will be a better resource for it but we are keen to uh, to have input from from you know we're not we're not too proud. Um, we want input from everybody, and and the more input we get, then hopefully the better the resource will be. So, but you know that that's I just thought I'd add that. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so that's uh, thank you. We hope everybody found that interesting. Uh, likewise, you know any questions, I'll drop us an email. I'll get into social media wise. Uh, keep watching out. We've got other things happening in the next uh, few months or so, and there'll be some more webinars. Uh, coming up specific in different areas uh, in PE. So thank you for your time. Uh, and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you.